James Bond's top 5 iconic brands. In this latest film of one of the world's most successful movie franchises, No Time to Die sees Bond having left active service and enjoying a tranquil life in Jamaica. His relaxation is short-lived, his old friend Felix Leiter from the CIA appears on the Caribbean island seeking help from Bond. Here are five of Bond's most famous and long-standing brands which exemplify the MI6 agent's discerning taste and desire for the finer things in life. Bollinger Bollinger has been producing admired champagne since 1829. The elegance and complexity of Bollinger's outstanding wines has led to many admirers over its storied history. It was felt that Bollinger was a natural fit for Bond, with 007 and Bollinger sharing, as described by Bollinger, a certain number of values a passion for excellence, a sense of refinement, and consummate elegance. In the latest film, Bond pulls a dust cover off his Aston Martin and cases of Bollinger champagne can be seen stacked against the garage wall. The association with Bond has resulted in Bollinger releasing a number of limited edition bottlings over the years. To celebrate the launch of No Time to Die, Bollinger released the Bollinger Special Cuvée 007 Limited Edition which has a bottle with the 007 logo on the neck collar and a gift box which features a silhouette of James Bond beside his Aston Martin DB5. Bollinger worked with celebrated photographer Greg Williams on the release. If you want to quaff champagne like Bond, Bollinger's special Cuvée Brut NV Champagne is around £47 per bottle. Omega The accuracy and precision delivered by Omega saw it develop quickly as a trusted official timekeeping device at sporting events, which led to its long association with the Olympics. In 1932 in Los Angeles, Omega was entrusted to time all disciplines. Omega has gone on to become the official timekeeper at almost all Olympic Games since. In 1940, the brand was commissioned to supply watches to the British Army and its allies and the now iconic Seamaster was launched in 1948, built to withstand challenge at altitude and under the ocean. Indeed, James Bond has worn an Omega Seamaster in every film since 1995. It was in GoldenEye, the 17th film and Pierce Brosnan's first outing as the famous MI6 agent. That saw Bond adorn his wrist with an Omega for the very first time, the watch selected by Oscar-winning costume designer Lindy Hemming. When Daniel Craig first appeared as Bond in Casino Royale in 2006, the famous spy continued the relationship with the brand. The character Vesper Lind, sent by M to accompany Bond to a high-stakes poker match, assesses Bond on their train journey to Montenegro, observing his wristwatch and asking Rolex? Aston Martin. Whilst British luxury Mark Bentley was the original favoured car of choice for James Bond, featuring in Ian Fleming's original novels is one of Bond's great passions. It is Aston Martin which has become synonymous with James Bond, a consequence of the brand's association with the Bond films for over 50 years. The first of the two models is the Vantage 007 edition, inspired by the original Aston Martin V8 which made its 007 debut in the Living Daylights in 1987 and also features in No Time to Die. The movie sees James Bond uncover the car from his personal lockup in London. This special edition also features a 007 Fender badge, finished in chrome with a black enamel infill and stainless steel silver 007 foil applied to the rear spoiler blade. The DBS Superleggera 007 edition is priced at £279,025 and the Vantage 007 edition at £161,000. A promotional Aston Martin DB5 used for the Goldfinger Bond film sold in 2019 at auction for over $6 million. Crockett and Jones Since 1879, Crockett and Jones have been manufacturing shoes in Northampton in England and the business is still owned and managed by the founding family. In 2017, Crockett and Jones was awarded a royal warrant by HRH. The Prince of Wales is a manufacturer and supplier of footwear. As an official partnership with Eon Productions, the makers of the James Bond films, to celebrate the latest installment. Crockett and Jones have produced a limited edition shoe, a whole cut Oxford, simply called James, which is made from the finest box calf and features the Crockett and Jones signature hand grade leather sole. Fully leather lined, James features an all-black interior with a silver foiled 007 logo. The shoes are available from Crockett and Jones stores and are priced at £850. Bond wears these and two other pairs of Crockett and Jones shoes, their Highbury and Moulton styles, in the film. Tom Ford In Daniel Craig's first outing as Bond, he continued to wear Brioni and Casino Royale, the brand which had dressed Pierce Brosnan during his stint as 007. For the first time Tom Ford has also dressed the new female character Nomi, played by Lashana Lynch. With select tailor-made jackets, tops and accessories including Tom Ford eyewear, all handmade in Italy. Tom Ford, 
CEO and creative director of the eponymous brand, said, I could not be happier to be dressing Daniel Craig as James Bond again in the upcoming film. James Bond epitomizes the Tom Ford man in his elegance, style and love of luxury. It is an honor to move forward with this iconic character. To dress like Bond, Tom Ford suits start around 2,500 pounds.